Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here, and today's video is about potting. But before we do anything, um, I put a poll up in the top of this video. Were you custom fit for your putter? And just trying it in the shop does not count. So you actually went through a full fitting. Because my guess is most people haven't. So the, what I'm doing today is showing you the part that I use versus the one that I wanted to use as a kid. And as a kid, and when I say kid, into early adulthood, and then it started to creep into um, a, a full-blown adult, is I was a bit of a, a bit of a hitty putter, but with an S. Go on, you work that one. <laughs> but look at the difference here. And this is, this is my point in the video. Can you see, I'm lying both of these down flat. And can you see the difference in the lie angle? So the, the Scotty Cameron here has probably got a standard lie angle in and around 70. Um, I, I need something and I putt far better with something far more upright. So can you see, um, when I used to use this putter, I love the look of it and used to love watching my mates putt with it. But then I would putt with it and I could never control the head. And it's because the lie angle is so wrong for me, plus this one's more of a toe hang, so it wants to kind of open up, plus it's too low. So I just could not control the head to save my life. So this one, far more up, I'm able to control the putter and I've gone into a claw as well. Um, if you'd like to know why I've gone more upright and into a claw, um, I did a video with David Adele at the beginning of the year. Um, check that one out because there's far more detail into why I wanted to go more upright. And I'm not suggesting upright is best for you. But it's just showing how a beautiful putter, and the Scotty Cameron is a beautiful putter, so I'm not trying to say this putter is better than this one, but it is a lie angle issue. Um, from fitting, so I, I fit the Adele with the Adele kit. Um, something that I have found, which has surprised me, is, is just the head shape and the lines make a big difference to how you line up. But the hosel that you use, you know, like how much offset. So like the putter that Tiger Woods uses, it's got quite a bit of offset. You'll see both of these uh, pretty minimal offset. Um, so this putter shouldn't be that far off in terms of a lot of my needs, but lie angle making a huge difference. So what I'm going to do, and if there is a lie angle problem, you might not need a new putter because your local pro, if they have the right equipment, they can bend it. You can only bend it so far and some putters might not want to bend as much as others. But, let's see what happens if I bend it. So, whipping it in here. Megan's here with me, just laughing away. <laughs> Like Megan, like you, you specialise in in putting. One of the things you're really good at coaching. Do you see the equipment making a as big a difference as I'm saying, or do you think I'm? Yeah, just absolutely. I I think it's shocking how many people haven't been fitted correctly for putters, and it's a great thing to to look into if you've never done it. Yeah. So you you see this one's at at 71, so it's not like it's um it's not like it's crazy um. Flat. It's just I need it really, really upright. We um, we got to be a little careful because I don't want to break what is actually a very nice putter. But that one seemed to go quite a bit. So seventy-five I've gone to. So you know that's like crazy upright. You know you're never going to find that in a shop. You know and that's kind of my point is I could have kept searching and searching, and it got to the point I was changing putters, I'd say weekly, it got, got to the point that it almost became an addiction, Megan, me changing putters. <laughs> Sounds very costly. <laughs> it was very costly. <laughs> both to my bank balance and my soul. <laughs> so you see, that one's now far more upright. So when we then start matching them up, can you see they're far, far similar? Yeah. 
Like you could argue that this one is a bit more again. You'll see I've, I've gone a bit longer with the, with the Adele as well. But now I've got half a chance with this one. You know, especially with the style that I need. But makes sense, and I, I think potters, more so than drivers, if you have one that's really not fit for you, you will really struggle because of the nature of potting and how precise it is. So I think there's this like belief that um, if you just use it for long enough, you'll find a way. Whereas I, I totally disagree. I think potters need to be custom fit more than a driver. And it's certainly not what we do currently. And think about it this way. It, you've probably got a friend or you might be that person. So get some comments down below that will say, well, I, I've had a putter for 25 years and I've used it the whole time. I've loved it. I've never felt the need to change, but I wasn't custom fit into it. But think about it. The likelihood is just by chance, you got a putter that really did suit you. So if you'd been custom fit, you would have been put into that putter. Where so many other people don't get custom fit and unfortunately it doesn't suit them or it kind of suits them so they get very streaky but they still want the need to keep changing and changing. But see if you can get custom fit. Get, get with your local pro. You know, Sometimes it's a case of just having the pro go out with you and when they try a few, you know, try a mallet, try a, a blade, try one with a lot of offset, try one with no offset and then look at just kind of how it feels where you would like to set it up. So when I, when I was potting with this one, um, when I was back home in England, you know, I, I started putting it up a bit like Steve Stricker. So you go, well, maybe that's the reason now, and all I've done is I've countered that. But uh, get some comments down below, and think about it, maybe just making a few changes to your current putter, or maybe it is actually the putter that's the reason why you're not holding any putts. But yeah, factor that in because I think you could hold more putts. And if you hold more putts, your score gets better, but you're also happier. And happiness is an important thing. So thanks for watching. I hope to catch you soon.